Okay, so Heather's complaining as always. As soon as we get to the park, she's always saying how she wants to go. And uh, she does a lot of complaining, actually. She, I'm trying to get her to open up to the wilderness and the outdoors and stuff, but she's just she's more of a computer TV person. I want to go home and watch TV. You Let's know, see. we love the Kardashians. Okay, anyways, we're hoping to see. What are we hoping to find today? A long-tailed salamander. Yeah, really hoping to. And have you ever seen one before? Nope. Are you excited if yeah, we do? Yeah, very. I'm excited too. They're really cute and cool sallies. So uh, I'm going to go check. And the only spot that I know to find them in locally Is there any way you can carry mouse down here and take a look at these long tails? Really? There's a bunch. Two at a time. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. My hand's wet. I mean, I need to wet my hands. You don't have water on you, do you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at it. It has spots. Isn't it awesome looking? Yeah. <laughs> what a cool salamander. I was just going to say it looks slower than the two line, but maybe not. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Um, can you hold this? I'm going to go rinse them up. What's Mouse doing? Is she allowed to eat that? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, so check this out, guys. You ready? I'm so excited for long-tailed salamanders. This is a really exciting species for me. Probably my favorite. Wow, well, look at them all. Looks good. Oh, he he's jumped. A jumper. Really cute. I think he's my favorite. Isn't it? Yeah. It's my favorite species. Their eyes are very frog-like or toad-like. Like most salamanders, they tend to feed on various soft-bodied insects and invertebrates. Um, <laughs> and that's pretty straightforward. Really awesome salamanders. And you can easily see why they get their name long-tailed salamander. Just look how long that tail is. So we're on our way back to find those long-tailed salamanders a second time. Hopefully we could get some more footage of them. But they might not be there. They're generally only around for a couple weeks, give or take. So uh, it's hit or miss. Believe it or not, long-tailed salamanders are actually members of the cave salamander family. Uh, and you can pretty much tell why if you actually compare them to images of cave salamanders. They're very similar. Now you can find the long tails in deciduous forests and woodlands and wetlands and all that kind of stuff. Um, and you can find them a distance from water. They do need water to breed, however, and they generally breed and mate in the fall and early winter. Now, while there have been captive bred long-tailed salamanders, not much is actually known about their courtship and mating behaviors, aside from the fact that they've been witness to rub heads or noses during courting. That's about it. These are actually my favorite species of salamander. I've seen them several years. Um, and they still get me excited like it's the first time I've seen them. Really cool salamanders. What'd you think of your first long-tailed salamander? They're my favorite. Well, second to spotted. The spotted? You really like the spotted, don't you? The spotted's my favorite. Why? Um, well, I think because it's big and it has big eyes and it's a little slower and easier to film. Oh, that's true. Shoe. That swamp shoe. Yeah. Don't tell me what swamp shoe yeah. is, okay? <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon, because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. Passion 
inspire spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.